Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be doing another new thing. So I'm doing my first ever brand new, fully invented by me, booktube tag. This is a tag that I made up all by myself, like a big boy, and it's a non-booktube booktube tag. It's the off topic booktube tag and you are all free to use this tag if you want. In fact, I tag each and every one of you. Uh, the point of the questions is to try and get to know you a little bit better because I've discovered since being on booktube that one of the things that is most interesting, at least to me, is the people, not just the books. In fact, I would go so far as to say that I'm less interested in the books than the people that are reading the books. So without further ado, I shall now introduce you to the world premiere of the Kits World Off Topic Tag. Here we go. Question number one. Excluding book related things, what are your favourite activities? Well, it's easy. Chilling with Frodo. She's my cat. I love and adore Frodo. She's my everything. She's my world. Another one of my favourite things to do is driving. I just love going for a drive. I like going for a drive with no specific destination in mind. And I just enjoy the process of driving. I enjoy being on the road. I enjoy going fast. But I always stay within the rules because I don't enjoy being pulled over. So generally, I will go for a drive to recharge my batteries, re-energise myself and press the reset button. Question number two. Do you play a musical instrument? If so, which one? I was a musician in my youth. I learned to play the cello and that was my main instrument. But in addition to that, I can also play piano a little bit and guitar a little bit. And I also sing. And for a while in my early 20s, I was a singer songwriter. I even recorded an album. Sometimes I see just how far I've come. Question number three. What genres of music do you enjoy listening to? show tunes mainly. I'm from a theatre family. I grew up in musical theatre and that for many years in my early childhood was my only musical influence. My earliest childhood memories are of my dad in the West End production of Joseph. But that's my earliest childhood memory when I was about three years old. And he was in that production for a couple of years. And then after that, he was the original Mushnik in the West End production of Little Shop of Horrors with Ellen Green. So show tunes, musical theatre was a huge part of my young life. And it was the only musical influence I really had for a long time. And then gradually I started to discover other things. I discovered Freddie Mercury. I love Queen. Queen is probably my favourite non theatre music. I'm also a huge fan of Pink Floyd. I discovered Pink Floyd later, in my late teens and early twenties, when I became a little bit of a hippie and started experimenting with an alternative lifestyle. And Floyd was really the soundtrack of my twenties. And in addition to Floyd, the Eagles, they were also part of the soundtrack of my twenties. I love the Eagles. And James Taylor. I discovered James Taylor through the film Running on Empty with River Phoenix. And there's a scene in that film where James Taylor is playing and all the cast are uh, dancing and singing to James Taylor. So that's how I discovered him. So my tastes have become more eclectic over the years, but my first love has been and will always be musical theatre. Question number four. What foreign countries have you visited? 
Israel, Egypt, France, Holland, Belgium, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and of course, America. Um, the Israel part is because my granddad lived on a kibbutz called Kfar Hanassi, and so I used to go and visit him and stay with him on his kibbutz. Um, Egypt was a dream holiday. Um, as most kids do in England at some point or other, um, I did a project on Egypt at school and it fired up my interest. It always seemed incredibly exotic and the history of Egypt seemed very interesting and exciting. So it had always been in the back of my mind that I wanted to visit Egypt and I can say that I had the time of my life when I was there. It was a fully glamorous, exotic holiday. I did, I covered every inch of Egypt, or at least all the bits that are worth covering, because a lot of it's just desert. Egypt remains the best holiday I've ever had in my life. Holland, I've been to many, many times. Again, in my early 20s, when I was exploring the alternative lifestyle, I used to go to Amsterdam on a regular basis to partake of the various delicacies available in Amsterdam. And I don't think I need to go into any further details about that. So probably the furthest away place that I've been is America. And I spent a bit of time in LA making a film. But I won't tell you any more about that film now, because that's a story for another time. Question number five. Have you ever been arrested for something hilarious? Share it but only if safe to do so. And I emphasise this point. Obviously, this is supposed to be fun and it's not a forum for people to accidentally incriminate themselves or to share personal information about their arrest history. So obviously, only answer this question if you want to and only answer it if it's safe to do so and if it's entertaining. But luckily, I do have an entertaining answer to this question. I was arrested for PWN, and if you're not aware of that, it's because it doesn't really exist. I just made it up. But it stands for poaching while naked, and this is a real thing, and it actually happened to me. I should hasten to point out that I was only actually guilty of the second part. The first part was a complete fabrication. I was not poaching, but... I was naked, and this is something that occurred, once again, during my hippie days. I was cavorting in the altogether, as one does when one is a hippie in the woods, and I stumbled into a police stakeout. And the first I knew about it was when a woman police officer jumped out from behind a tree, and I inadvertently exposed myself to her, and she failed to see the funny side. So I was immediately arrested on suspicion of poaching. Despite not being in possession of any hunting equipment, corpses, or indeed clothes, and I was later charged with indecent exposure and was released after paying a small bribe. I mean, fine. So that is the story of my arrest. It happened many years ago. I think I was about 20 at the time. So I didn't look the way I do now. The woman police officer had absolutely no excuse for being offended. Frankly, she should have thanked me. And on that note, I think I'll call it a day. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you next time. See you later.